I'm marching down the road with my umbrella. So we had fun with that. <laughs> Welcome to our Mardi Gras special. Ta-da! <laughs> I really caught Sarah off guard. She said, don't look me stupid. That was so uncomfortable. I took it the whole other direction. I had a whole lot of fun with it. It made my eyes water. Which is kind of the, the spirit of Mardi Gras. Dude, exactly. So we've had a lot of questions from uh, several of our followers. And we have a lot of followers from all over the country and a few uh, in other parts of the world that may not be familiar with some of our cultures, celebrations, and things like that. We've had some, uh, recently we've kind of talked about Mardi Gras and had a few people have some questions. So we thought we'd do a Mardi Gras special and answer those questions. Okay, this video may end up being a train wreck. Uh, a purple, gold, and green train wreck. Like a really bad parade. So what is Mardi Gras? Well, um, Mardi Gras starts uh, on Epiphany, which is the 12th night uh, after Christmas, which is the day that the uh, three kings, three wise men, uh, reached baby Jesus. So the uh, carnival season starts on Epiphany, or Twelfth Night. Mardi Gras literally translates to Fat Tuesday in French, and it is the beginning of the carnival, is the end of the carnival season. So we say Mardi Gras season starts at 12th night and it goes till Fat Tuesday. And then Ash Wednesday is, is the day after Mardi Gras, um, and that begins the Lenten season. That's 40 days. Uh, where typically someone you give up something and in replay in giving up that habit or practice or whatever you are supposed to uh, reflect on Christ and your relationship with him and that kind of thing some people rather than giving something up they volunteer their service their time uh, and that goes on for 40 days it's a 40 day period that ends on Holy Saturday which is the day before Easter What are the colors of Mardi Gras, Jacob? So the colors are purple, gold, and green. And purple stands for justice, gold stands for power, and green stands for faith. Sarah, being from South Louisiana, why don't you tell us about the parades? Well, Jacob, parades are hosted by crews, organization or club-like groups that host these things. You have to pay dues. Sometimes they're really cheap. Sometimes they're really expensive. And you plan the parade, you build the floats, you ride on the floats, and you throw beads and trinkets from the floats. Some of the big, big parades in New Orleans end with a ball. And I've been lucky enough to go to the Bacchus Ball which is really cool, which is where our beautiful beads are from. And my oldest brother has actually um, gotten to ride on some of the Bacchus floats. Traditionally, riding on the floats, you have to be a man. I know, so sexist. There are other crews where you can be a woman, but Bacchus specifically, all men. <laughs> and each parade generally has a king. Uh, the year that I got to go to Bacchus, Michael Keaton was the king. Uh, my parents went one year and Will Ferrell was the king. And during the actual ball, there are all kinds of musical performances, dancing, drinking, eating. Revelry. <laughs> much, much revelry. <laughs> um, there are a lot of different parade options. 
There are family friendly, which is always good. Those are usually earlier in the day. <laughs> there are the really adult raucous ones, which are much later in the evening and in less desirable parts of the city. But it's also celebrated all around South Louisiana. And Central. Um, yes. Oddly enough, uh, not all parishes in Louisiana acknowledge Mardi Gras as an actual holiday, only certain do. And when I w went to college in Alexandria, we didn't get off of school <laughs> for Mardi Gras. And that was very weird to me because growing up, we always got Mardi Gras, I think the day after, the day before, off. We always got those two days off. And so when I went to college, we didn't. <laughs> so I think Alexandria and that parish is one that Well, we also not. went to a Baptist college. Yes, well. <laughs> South Louisiana is very Catholic, and Mardi Gras is a very yeah. Catholic Catholic's not a holiday. Big, Mardi Gras is not exactly a Baptist holiday. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the parades. They're a lot of fun. Um, I went to a lot growing up. Um, parades are generally what you think of them. They have the floats. They have marching bands. Huge floats. They have people on bikes police officers. There's, it's by law they have to be barricaded now because there was a problem they weren't barricaded and people would run out into the actual parade and get run over by these giant floats and that's going to ruin your holiday more than anything. <laughs> so now they have to barricade everything. Um, but they're a lot of fun. In Alexandria they do things a little bit different because the, the city will have one parade or actually they have like three. They have a classic car parade, they have the kids parade and then they have the city parade, the big one. And each crew has a float, and they all throw beads. Same same situation, but each crew has a float instead of the entire parade being sponsored by one crew. And instead of the parade ending at the ball like it would in New Orleans, the uh, there's just the parade, and then there is a different crew ball each weekend leading up to. Uh, to Mardi Gras, which usually starts with the crew of Twelfth Night, and they're the, the first. They're the first ones, <laughs> and they kick it off. Um, but that's how Alexandria does it. It's a little bit different. Stoke is pretty rowdy, and like weeks ahead of time before the parade, the city has to like block off the parade route because people show up with trailers and with RVs, and they park and they stay. For like a week before the parade starts. It's insane. They want prime spots. Prime spots. So everybody in the South celebrates Mardi Gras differently. There is, is a town in Mamou that say, does Mamou. chickens. They chase <laughs> chickens. The chickens. My dad wants to go to that so bad. <laughs> so it sounds do I. terrible. To me. There <laughs> they, are some parades uh, that are horses. There are all kinds of different things. The crew of things. Barkus. Barkus, it's Barkus. dogs. Yeah. It's a dog that's right. parade. There's a lot of different ones. There's, and they, the local newspapers will publish schedules. So if you're in the South during Mardi Gras season and you want to go see a parade, there's going to be one, there's one. at some point in time. <laughs> um, fun fact, ain't no place to pee on Mardi Gras day. So porta potties are gross <laughs> and the yeah. bathrooms in New Orleans make you have charge you something. Yeah, they make some money off of So if bathrooms. you want to go to the bathroom at Burger King, you got to buy a Whopper value meal <laughs> before they'll let you. So be aware of Fun that. Fun fact, you out-of-towners. And all your heavy <laughs> drinking. <laughs> Jacob, I noticed you made a delicious looking treat last weekend. Tell me more about that. So that's the king cake. Um, it is not traditionally made with crescent rolls. That is a uh, cheater's way of getting around having to make actual bread dough. <laughs> Nobody, I don't have two hours to make a cake. Um, I digress. King cake, or king's cake. Is, no one calls it Nobody that. calls it that. But it's king cake, um, and... It represents the three kings, like you were talking about earlier. <laughs> so the cake represents the three kings. Uh, the baby that's baked inside, traditionally, uh, represents baby Jesus. Um, he used to be, fun fact, a bean way back in the day. Uh, and because now it's a choking hazard, they don't actually bake 
the king cake, uh, the baby into the king cakes anymore because, you know, you're just chewing on a piece of cake and you swallow a plastic baby. Uh, that's bad. Also ruin your holiday. Also ruin your holiday. But if you get the piece of king cake with the baby in it, you're supposed to have good luck. And you have to buy the next king cake. <laughs> so growing up in school, every Friday during the Mardi Gras season, uh, we would have a king cake. The teacher would start it off and we'd all eat it. And then whoever got the baby in their piece that day would have to bring the king cake for the next Friday, so on and so forth. So growing up, you got really bored and tired of king cake, which seems sacrilege to say now, <laughs> like, because we are begging for a decent king cake. But we had them all the time. So. And all of my friends that I follow on Instagram, it's, it, this is a this is a real thing. Posting these beautiful king cakes. And but all of my friends that have moved away are getting cakes mailed to them. Like you can have legitimate king cakes from these like really nice bakeries, Gambinos, which is really well known for their king cakes, like ships king cakes. It's ridiculous. It's expensive. stupid expensive. But all my friends are posting on Instagram. They're like, I got a cake. Yeah. And I'm looking at my Tom Thumb cake thinking, there's no yellow sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> There's supposed to be yellow sprinkles. Not red. I saw a king cake with red sprinkles on it and wanted to throw it out. I didn't buy it. So king cakes come in a variety of flavors. You can get plain that has nothing in it. Um, our favorite is praline or cream cheese. There's strawberry, there's chocolate, there's blueberry. We don't go for those. Zulu is the chocolate one, and that's always the one that's left over at the stores that nobody wants to buy. And you may like Zulu, and congratulations. You we do don't. you. <laughs> you Hashtag do you, boo. You do you. <laughs> we prefer the praline one. But yeah, uh, like I said in the, in the uh, earlier video where I made the king cake, there are, in my opinion, only two acceptable fillings, which is praline or cream cheese. Uh, you save your berry fillings for pies. That's purely our own opinion. <laughs> Purely. <laughs> but we're both from Louisiana, so that's got to hold some kind of weight. So anyway, the king um, cake, oh, go ahead. It's iced with white icing, and then it's got colored sugar sprinkles on it. My parents prefer the no sugar, and so they just get the icing, and the bakery they get theirs from colors the icing mm -hmm. purple, green, and gold. I like the sugar. It's not good for you, but I like it. <laughs> so anyway, there's your king cake. Uh, it's not as complicated as you might think. It's just cake. It's good though. It's, it's good. real good. It's uh... Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> yeah, you got me thinking about it. I could talk about king cakes all day, but... I'm the one Jacob made was super good, and I wish that he had made more, because I only got three pieces of it, and I would like... <laughs> she only got three pieces of it! I would like to have more of <laughs> <laughs> I had one that night, and one the next morning for breakfast, which is another king cake oh. tradition. Breakfast. King cake makes excellent breakfast. Excellent breakfast. This is essentially a cinnamon roll. <laughs>
Otherwise, we would be here. The camera on the sorry. The battery on the camera. Battery's the dying. Time. We gotta wrap it up. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd be here all night explaining all the histories and traditions. We encourage you to go online and to read up on it. There's actually like Mardi Gras facts .com or something like that with school lesson plans about it. I mean, it's a, a legit thing back where we're from. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed our Mardi Gras special. I hope you've learned a little bit. We've <laughs> educated you. Done it justice to our Louisiana friends. If we yep. said something wrong, don't tell us don't, in the comments. Don't hate us on the comments. <laughs> Send me a text message. No. The battery died. The battery on the camera died. Where's so. the camera on this? I don't know where to look. Okay. The battery on the camera died, so we're improvising. Pro tip, Mardi Gras beads are heavy. So when you go to a parade, bring a bag to put them in because your neck will start to hurt. We've only been doing this for like, I don't know, an hour and my neck already hurts. Typically you need to probably get the small ones. No, you don't get these at regular old parades. These no. are legit. You'll get the tiny ones. Uh, so anyway, be sure to give this video a like, leave us a comment, let us know what you think. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell. We appreciate y'all watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Bum 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 Get your ticket in your hand. You wanna go to New Orleans. Get your ticket in your hand. You wanna go to New Orleans.